Hey everybody, Anne here. It's bright and early in the morning, but I've got some really, really good news for you. All right, I hear peeps first thing in the morning. I've done something different. They don't really like the towel over the top of them. Ooh, at least I've got one that's already up and about. Alrighty, let me take the top off and see what's going on underneath. Oh, you can see the other one. All right. Oh, 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 are you... Look, look. It's barking. Oh my goodness. I did physical therapy on this chicken yesterday, and I think it worked. Look at there, guys. Yeah, they keep dumping over their food. It's all in this corner. So I'm trying to keep it clean. Uh, so, yeah, anyhow, they didn't really like the towel on them anymore. Um, and I didn't want the heat from the heat mat down below all that bedding to escape. So that's why I just turned that box upside down um, and put it over them and cut a little hole in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, Patty's doing just fine. And this other one looks like... It's gaining its bear, uh, bearings, and they've been drinking water because I've been replacing it right and left. That's still the electrolyte solution. I'm going to leave that in there for today, and then I'm just going to start giving them regular water with just a touch of apple cider vinegar in it. But look, you guys. Look, it's standing. What I basically did, and it would be hard, you know what, I've got a tripod. Let me see if I can do this with a tripod and I'll show you what I did. Let me see if I can show you, because this sweet baby is still a little unsteady. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. Alright, you'll notice that it just kind of drops. Ooh. See, it, it, it kept putting its wings out. So all I did is I held it. I made it stand up on its own. And for a while I had to hold it up all together. And then I would just walk towards the food or the water. And I noticed it was starting to take steps. So I would just kind of hold it like that for a little bit. And then just kind of release the pressure. Little by little, the support. And then I would just let go. See, it's still doing the weird thing with that wing. Sometimes it does it with both of them. But I did that for about 15 minutes at a time. And slowly but surely, it, it seemed like I was excited once it started standing up on its own. That's all I did. See? And now, look at that. And it's surprising, these little lights, they, they definitely put off a little bit of heat. So, that's pretty wonderful. Yeah, this one still needs to be standing and eating. Um, it's just getting a little lazy. But, I did get it to stand and walk over to the water. It's okay, sweetheart. And I did get it to, oops, this is going to be hard. I need to reach over here to walk over to the water and stand and get a drink. I just kept doing that. And it looks like it's getting its bearings. Oh, thank goodness. All righty, onward. Well, it looks like it's going to be pretty nice for the rest of the day. And I think that they've been in there for long enough. Uh, three nights and like a couple days. So what I've done is I completed the tarps across this thing here. So that Romeo wouldn't see the other rooster or roosters and try and dive bomb attack like he did with Roman, who used to be named Rocky, but he's now Roman. So hopefully this will help mitigate some of that. And uh, I just really hope that they... <laughs> That they don't disappoint me huh but they need to get out and walk around and I just want to see them I haven't seen them in so long so let's see how this goes folks hi chickens you guys want your freedom oh come on out babies come on 
towards his first. Oh, he's gotten so big in just a few days. Is that beauty? Now, I'm pretty sure that's the rooster that's crowing. Look at how big that one's gotten. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's beauty. Look at, she's perfectly fine. Okay, so we got Torch, we got Beauty. This one here, I don't know. Look at the colors. There's some brown, there's some blue. Oh, you guys are happy. Don't fly out. Please don't fly out. You're just so happy to be free. Look how Torch, how beautiful he's getting. Oh my gosh. All right, one's already gone back in. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Uh, so I'm just going to watch them. You know, hopefully they won't try and fly out. If they do, well, I'll just have to usher them back into this yard <laughs> and then back into this yard. What do you think, guys? That one's got some red rust on it in its feathers. What should I name? That's, I know that's a rooster. I know that at least that one was crowing. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. We'll know tomorrow when I get up and they start and I let them out. Or even maybe tonight. Just look at that beautiful torch. Oh, I pray this is a rooster. Please be a rooster. Look at those tail feathers. They're already starting to kind of go down and back. And see the hens go straight up. They're not dipping at all in the back. This one's tail feathers are starting to go down. So I really think I've got two roosters and three hens. And that is perfect because I will keep the black rooster here. And if this one is a rooster torch, he's going in with the Easter eggers. These are younger than the Easter eggers. And they're already bigger than the Easter eggers. I guess that Easter eggers mature more slowly. And the black Asians, got black Asian blood in them. Oh, yep. See that? We're, al we're already starting to hear some activity here. Okay, well, I'm just going to let them relax, and I've got them a little tray of grit over there. i got to remember to give these guys grit. So hopefully this goes well. Oh, they look good. They look good, don't they? I don't know. Maybe that's a rooster, too. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if I had three roosters? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'll just have to figure it out, you know? Okay. Who we have back here? Somebody's laying an egg. Okay. She remembers. That's a little black one. I'm going to call that one Waldo, I think. In honor of my dad. Let's see if they can make it. Oh, look it. Going to have no problems going up and making it into the brooder box at night. Alright, so I'm just going to watch this for a little while. And see how it goes. They've already been to eat and drink, so that's a good thing. Look at He's strong as ever. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Look at these four up here. That ain't the cutest thing ever. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm hot and I'm dirty again. Um, I've been working in the van to rectify the whole nesting box situation because I didn't want to I mean I just can't sit and watch these chickens 24 7 to see if one of them acts like they're gonna lay an egg and let them in and then let them out so uh yeah I went and did that it's not finished yet so I'll show you that in the next video anyway it's been a great day um I'm glad that I've been able to get all the chicks back with Miss Pris because um it's it's just a relief it's it really is a relief so I keep going in and checking on her and making sure the two newest ones are still doing well and they seem to be doing well uh, scratching with mama so um, tonight I'm gonna just double check that all of them are up with her in the nesting box um, because it's gonna be getting down I think tonight it's gonna I don't know maybe in the 60s but then 57 and then like in the 40s so they need to be up under mama um, not the best time to be brooding chickens. Anyhow, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go have a cold beverage. Um, and that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.